I have a question on hotandroid.com where we get <coughs> on Android every day. Anyway, I've got a great ROM for you guys. It is actually available for AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, Verizon, and also the GTN 7105. Uh, if you have a GTN 7100, I just posted the Resurrection Remix ROM. Um, do check that out. You'll be able to enjoy the latest Android 5.1 uh, for that phone. And also this ROM, it is Android 5.1. Uh, for all the variants except for the Sprint. Sprint one has not been updated to 5.1, but it's pretty much identical. Um, this one you'll get Android 5.0.2. Everybody else, you'll get uh, 5.1. Now this ROM also uh, comes, actually doesn't come with the kernel, but uh, the ROM developer has made it, so it's um, you should be able to run it flawless with the shift kernel. Um, so go ahead and install shift kernel and also that will fix any Netflix errors. Um, so definitely install it. I love this ROM. It is, it is just awesome. You'll be able to get on the latest Android 5.1 and a lot of the variants, especially the US variants, uh, have not been updated for TouchWiz, uh, which means with this, you'll be able to enjoy the best of Android 5.1, improve the performance on your phone. Uh, what's great about Android 5.1 is that it actually enhances the performance of your phone especially if you have an older phone like this um so i love it anyway let me go ahead and show you some of the features here uh, if you go into settings uh you'll find actually everything um that you found with cm12 such as themes all right and also super su for root um so yes this rom does come with root uh, you don't have to do anything now the coolest part about this rom is that it comes with s tweaks um, you will either find it there or you can also find it as an app here. You can go ahead and run it. And uh, I do recommend overclocking to 1.8 gigahertz. Bring that dial from, uh, I think, 160s to 180s. So that's 1.8 gigahertz or 1.8 million uh, hertz. All right, that will overclock your phone. Ah. All right, minimum, minimum, I would say about two, 300 should be fine. Also, you got GPU you can mess with. Uh, let me see if I can actually overclock this. You can go ahead and make the last step a little bit higher. Ooh, you can get it up to all the way up to 800. So you should be able to get it up to about 640 just fine. Um, just play with the settings until you get the right setting for the GPU if you want to overclock the GPU. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff like touch wake, slide awake, audio, LED. Uh, S Tweaks is actually one of my favorite apps. It's been existed uh, since the Galaxy S2 and it is one of the most customizable uh, kernel apps. It's actually part of the uh, the shift kernel that comes with it. So very good stuff. And other than that, it's got pretty good performance. Um, obviously with overclocking and Android 5.1, you're gonna get very, very good performance. Now I actually, one of the cool uh, features on here you can enable the on-screen buttons and disable the back buttons or, or the hardware keys. You can see here it's not working. Uh, you can find all of those customizations in Cyanide Mods. All right, you can go ahead and uh, block ads, uh, advanced sound. You can go ahead and switch off some of the sounds you don't want. You want it's really highly customizable over the stock Android 5.1. Animations, you can go ahead and customize pretty much every animation on this phone. Uh, battery, this is just going to show you your battery stats. stats. Uh, buttons, here is where I enabled my navigation bar, enable that, all right? And then you um, go ahead and disable the hardware keys. This is where you can disable it. Or you can use both if you want to. Um, this is great because now you'll be able to kind of use it at like uh, sort of like OnePlus One, which has that feature where you can go ahead and use the hardware keys or just the soft key. So I really like this feature. It seems like a small thing. Uh, but I know this can be huge, especially if your Note 2 is kind of old, maybe your, bu your hardware buttons are not working well. This is a great way to add that. And also if you're using soft buttons like this, you can go ahead and add nav ring buttons. These are the ones that come from the bottom up. Um, so you can actually use a bunch of those, which is very nice. And you can go ahead and customize and add a bunch of buttons. Also you can uh, customize your buttons here and you can do short action, long action. Uh, one, one thing great about this one is that you can actually choose your application. For example, I want to add Chrome there. And I forgot how many you could add, but oh, you can add more. Let's see how many we can add. Wow, so you can add up to like 10 buttons if you wanted to. 
Uh, you, I probably don't recommend it because it's gonna make all the buttons small. Uh, how do I remove this? All right, I forgot how to remove this, but uh, there should be a way to remove it. Ah. There we go. Just swipe away to remove. Um, so you can add a bunch of different buttons, customize your uh, soft buttons. Now you no longer need to use your hardware buttons at all. So that's a great option there. I really like that little feature because a lot of AOSP ROMs don't have that feature. Even OnePlus ROMs, sometimes they don't have it. So you lose that feature when you're going from a OnePlus ROM to um, some CM ROM. Uh, all right, so er everything else, status bar, you can go ahead and customize. Uh, system app remover, power menu, you can go ahead and add screenshots, screen recording. Uh, it's got pretty much every option you can think of uh, that is in many other phones. And there's also app circle bar. You can go ahead and enable this. Um, that way you get that nice little shortcut, which is my favorite. Um, there's a bunch of more shortcuts like gesture anywhere. I won't go over all these since I went over them on my previous videos. Pie control, app bar, pretty much everything. Expanded desktop, this is great. If you have an app, um, you want to make full use of your screen, you can go by app bases or enable it for all. For example, Chrome, you don't want to see your status bar. You can go ahead and enable uh, here and hide both. So hide uh, both the top status bar and the bottom navigation bar so you can get that full screen effect. I mean, I just show you some of the features on here, but you really have to try this ROM. And uh, other than those customization, this is a really solid ROM. Everything works out of the box, camera, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, 4 GLT. Um, you know, I haven't found any bugs. And if you go down to XTA, this is one of the ROMs that's popping. Also, uh, one of the only 5.1 ROMs that I, that's actually stable that I would recommend. Um, something you can flash now and kind of use it and uh, make your phone faster, have all of these cool options. And I really like this soft buttons. You know, that way you don't have to use the hardware buttons. Um, sort of my makes it cool. So definitely check it out for this week's Round of the Week. Again, it is available for AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, Verizon, and also the GTN 7105. Um, for the Sprint version, again, it is only 5.0.2, but it's pretty much the exact same features. And yeah, do check it out. And if you have a lock bootloader, like an older uh, AT&T or Verizon Note 2 that you don't have clock mod recovery or tour recovery installed, you have, you're have you using safe start recovery, then sorry, you cannot install this ROM. You can't install any OSP ROMs. Uh, one of the things that AT&T, Verizon just doing, which I don't like. But anyway, check it out. Do let me know what you think. I think you guys will love this ROM. I've been running it for some of my other phones. Um, I'm just so glad they're actually working on the older Note 2. Uh, and do let me know what you think. And as always, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon.